Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Earthly Headlines. Uh, today we're going to talk about this pretty interesting uh, research that was conducted uh, pretty recently regarding the trapping of golden eagles and how that practice goes back at the very least to the Neanderthals, who again lived between like 850,000 to about 40,000 years ago. So that's a long time. That's over 700,000. It's like 760,000 years at the very least of this tradition of trapping a, the golden eagle, which is a very imposing bird. I think it's one of the largest on the earth, period. And it just seems like it's not something a, a surviving human or a human trying to survive in, on the earth uh, especially at the time of the Pleistocene and the time of the Neanderthal, it just doesn't. The risk reward doesn't seem very good to do that for just to live off of the eagle for like logistic purposes. The fact that they would go out of their way to trap such a dangerous animal, and that it's been tradition, does hold some weight. And it it's very very peculiar that it was this type of eagle that was hunt, hunted by not hu not modern humans, but our hominin cousins. So anyway, let's uh, take a look at uh, what how they did this. So the the conclusion that they drew was um, the, the Neanderthals may have targeted the, uh, these birds about 130,000 years ago is where they pinpointed it, but that tradition could easily go way further than that. Uh, modern humans may have learned their eagle catching techniques from their hominin cousins. Now, if that's true, if that somehow in the future becomes undeniable fact if there was some sort of way that they could uh, prove without a doubt that that modern humans us we learned eagle catching from either Neanderthals or whoever whatever hominin was living at the time that transfer of ideas is, would be so huge that we'd have to there'd be so many other things we'd have to consider including how to run a I guess more or less a government or a civilization would be among that or having a code of laws or or even um, establishing a religion or, or a, a culture that is conducive to a happy and healthy life. Basically order, instilling order. If, if we somehow learn that from other hominins, then that is huge. That means that would diminish something like the ancient alien theory or something like that where an extraterrestrial where it's posited that an extraterrestrial came and taught us all of these things and civilized us if this is true then there's a whole bunch of other things that we could learn from them as well and it's very interesting that they uh threw that out there right at the beginning the luminous auburn, uh, auburn feathers and a massive 2.2 meter wingspan, the golden eagle, is associated with solar deities and religions around the world, from Native American traditional belief systems to Roman and Greek mythologies. Yeah, so this idea of, like Rome, they, they would have these battle standards with an eagle on it, and then even America today, we have the bald eagle as uh, the country's uh, bird, and the fact that the eagle worship or the eagle deity or the eagle symbol has been uh, ubiquitous all throughout civil human civilization going back thousands and thousands of years. So that very fact alone that it's played such an important symbol all throughout human history makes this connection to prehistory all the more salient, all the more peculiar and all the more important because, again, this doesn't happen... Uh, haphazardly this isn't random it isn't a coincidence um, that symbol was made a symbol for a significant reason and this this reason or this rather this practice of trapping them going back hundreds of thousands of years across human species is very very again interesting and a very important point to note if we're going to talk about symbolism and symbols such as the the golden eagle and why it sticks around to this day um, and also sun worship as well akhenaten which i who whom i did a video about uh, a few months ago um, he was equated to monotheism and he was also equated to moses who also uh, uh preached about uh worshiping the one god 
and solar deities again are um, associated with. Them. So this might this idea might also stretch back a hundred thousand or so years. And again, uh, trapping eagles and studying religion and studying re uh, deities, worshiping deities, might not be an exclusively modern human thing. And that's something I'm uh, taking from this article right now as well. Okay, so how did they do this? So a team of anthropologists wanted to find out whether Neanderthals were part of that heritage. Eagle bones and talons have been found across dozens of sites in Central and Western Europe, occupied by both Neanderthals and modern humans. So um, they, they went to these Neanderthal associated sites that also was known to be occupied by modern humans. So that's where that connection comes from. They, they think that we were either coexisting or we it was like a monkey see monkey do situation. They're, they're not sure. But either way, um, this eagle trapping thing was shared amongst both uh, modern humans and strongly, strongly um, suggested that Neanderthals are doing this as well. And by virtue of the fact that Neanderthals have been around longer, uh, that's where the assumption kicks in where they might have taught us that, that those skills. Um, although rock, dove, and raven remains were the most numerous birds, the remains of golden eagles were present at 26 of those sites. Cut marks along the wing, wing bone suggest Neanderthals carefully extracted the feathers. Uh, again, feathers are very decorative. They're, they're used in all kinds of cultural and religious practices. So it's not surprising, again, that they would, care, they would trap these things and not, eat, not to eat them, but to take their feathers uh, for, um, a de again, decorative or religious purposes or ceremonial purposes. And the fact that they have that concept of the ceremonial and, and worship Again, that's a testament to the abilities of the Neanderthals, because for a long time, the Neanderthals and any other proto-human or early human, they were just uh, cast off and underestimated as, the, as these dummies with uh, high physical capac capacity but low mental capacity, which again, as we find more and more in, in the archaeological record, uh, more details and more information about uh, these beings, the more that is being uh uh, downplayed or I, I guess disproved that they were just barbaric brutes with uh, no culture to them at all. Um, so additional cuts to the bird's leg and foot bone suggest their claws and talons were delicately separated, right? So they, they were uh, taking care to um, take out of the most, take out the most valuable parts of the, of the eagle for use in whatever, in jewelry and whatever else they were, they were doing it for. Um, in 2015, they found talons from another eagle, the white-tailed eagle, adorning a Neanderthal necklace. Um, Neanderthals were apparently catching and fashioning jewelry from large raptors in Eurasia thousands of years before modern humans migrated up to the continent from Africa. So they found all of these eagles lying around, or the remains of these eagles, missing feathers and claws and talons, all of these things, in areas that were highly uh, populated by Neanderthals, but where modern humans hadn't gone yet. So that is their, uh, one of the strongest pieces of evidence that Neanderthals were originating this behavior. Uh, the authors suggest our ancient ancestors may have picked up the practice from, from watching the Neanderthal neighbors. Um, and then there's this abstract called the Neanderthals and the Cult of the Sunbird, which is very interesting. And it goes through a few bullet points here. The golden eagle is the most frequently caught raptor by Neanderthals. Um, obvious for obvious reasons they probably had there are a lot of things attractive to it that they wanted to um uh keep for themselves like jewelry and such um they were probably ambushed by neanderthals at carcasses so they, they again th trapping an animal is really difficult so the fact that they had cooperation in all of these things was previously they one of the main uh, arguments for how modern humans outbred Neanderthals was that they said modern humans or Homo sapiens, we had the ability to cooperate better than they did and and uh, execute plans and have uh, forward thinking, all that stuff. But Neanderthals, in order to catch something like an eagle, they must have had that in some sort of capacity as well. So they were laying like carcasses in these different traps because eagles are, I think they're also carrion birds as well. They I don't know if they're classified as carrion birds, but they eat, they go after carcasses if there's one lying in the field. So Neanderthals took note of this and they were able to catch them with relative ease 
because they've caught a bunch of them using the same um, techniques. The tradition of catching raptors dates to at least 130,000 years ago. Neanderthals are the first humans known to practice eagle catching. So maybe the Neanderthals learned this from another previous uh, hominin as well. Who knows? But either way, they were doing it um, and they were very successful at it. And they were able to somehow teach it to humans, either directly or indirectly. Uh, the golden eagle has played a prominent part in cultures and traditions of people across Eurasia and North America. Neanderthals have been uh, long considered incapable of systematically catching birds of any description. Not only were they able to catch birds, they also took diurnal raptors. Uh, Neanderthals and golden eagles co-shared the same habitats and landscapes across the Paleoarctic region. So that again, that makes sense too. They were both in the same place at the same time, and they shared. They were in the same ecosystem rather, and uh, that's that makes sense that they would go after them. The Neanderthals would go after them because they were part of their daily life. We show that the long human golden eagle association goes at least as far back as the Neanderthals. So the fact that it became a symbol, I don't know. I, I don't know too much of the symbology behind the golden eagle. I do know that there are symbols like the eagle, the snake, um, and then also other symbols that are, that have astrological um, associations as well. But the eagle seems like a very ancient and a very uh, religious symbol that an esoteric symbol that goes back further than we can even think so uh maybe these uh prehistoric civilizations that got wiped out by the younger dryas or or even the ones further back uh, in the in the pleistocene perhaps those organizations also had held the golden eagle in some high regard or it represented something other than just the animal itself and if that's the case then we have to rethink everything we know about the neanderthals in terms of the, their capabilities because um if they were able to do that then what else were they able to do what else were they able to conceive of so anyway let me know what you guys think about this i thought it was a very interesting article and i'll talk to you guys later